Well, most modern radios today all have a kill switch. And so what I want to show you is how to set it up and which way it is supposed to be. This is the kill switch position it should be for not run. Forward is run. This not run. Not run. Run. Not run. Run. Now the reason and the default when you buy the radio, I'm going to show you how to set this up now, but the default position is set for throttle off here. This is like an on-off light switch. On, fly. Off, don't fly. Same thing with dual rates. Full rate is forward. Three quarters, or 75% and 50%. Same thing here. Down is like a light switch, so it's lower. And the way you can remember that is the throttle. Throttle down, half rate, elevator, half rate aileron. I like half rates better because there is no dead spot in the middle and you can easily switch for whatever airplane you're doing. All right, I'm going to show you how to set this up. But again, the reason you want to have your throttle switch off is if it's this way, it is very easy to bump. Oh! See, if you have it this way, it's just too easy to bump. And if you're going to pick it up, if you had it this way, and you just happen to pick it up, you might bump it yourself. It's much safer to have it this way than this way. It's only common sense. This is too easy to bump. I mean, you can have it hanging on the thing and bump it. The next thing you know, you're throttled. So. And also... When the switch is this way, this is so much easier to be in the kill switch because to reach it while you're flying, and I'm a pincher, you have to come up here and get your finger in here and do that to kill it. And that is difficult because you've got a rate switch here. And I have full rate rudder on this position, 75%, 30%, that's my rudder, it's always here. so. If this was this way, it would be hard to reach, okay? So when you want to kill it right away, you just grab it. I mean, that's just real easy to grab. Trying to get your finger in there, and it might be this switch you hit. Just common sense, guys. And if you drop it... So that's the right way to have it set. It kills it when you drop it. Shut off. And this is the wrong way. And the plane takes off down the runway by itself. I'm going to show you how to set it up now. Okay, from the main screen, what we do is get into where it says throttle cut. And here is where we pick the switch. So, if I click this, I can scroll. Now, I know that, that switch for the throttle cut right here is switch H. Okay, so we change this to switch H. And now it's all set up. Minus 100%. Everything is set up there. That is basically the default. And it's done. Main screen, back. Now, when I flip the switch, it beeps when it's off. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's safety. It's just an absolute safety feature. Or if you've got it dangling from a uh, harness, you know, you can bump throttle easy. And listen, I don't like this beeping. Every time you shut the throttle off, it beeps. And I run the throttle up and down a lot when I'm flying. That's so annoying. You want me to show you how to shut that off? I'm going to show you how to do that too. Okay, this is how you do that. 
you go to where it says timer. Okay, just go down everything right here to where it says next. 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 And now here are where the tones are. So every minute down, I've got inhibit. At one minute, I have, I'm going to set that for voice and vibe. 30 seconds inhibit, 20 seconds inhibit. I don't want to hear anything. Inhibit. Expiration. I'm going to tell it to do the voice and vibe. Every minute inhibit. Already got that. Now you go back down here and hit next. This is it. Timer start, timer start. You get the tone. So that every time you start every time you start it and stop it, you get that tone. Inhibit. 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 And now when we go up here, here's what happens. We'll go back to the main screen. Now I can run the throttle up and down. No beeping. I'm glad I have that switch because I got scared this out of me a few times. <laughs> okay, everybody. You know, the majority of you are going to see the logic behind this. It's pretty easy. But the most important part is safety. And though some of you are going to argue the switch should be set the other way, I've had these things go wrong with me, so I speak from experience. And I hope this explains this, or especially to those who ask me about it. So be safe, happy flying, and stay well. This is Dave Herbert, the Night Flyer, signing off till the next episode. Thank you.